Good evening, everybody. Good evening. It's good to see you guys again. Another Thursday night. Uh, it's just me today. Uh, Jamari had to take care of some 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 work, some work stuff, some nine to five work stuff. So, you know, we we you know that that comes first. But uh, he'll be back next week. Hopefully, hopefully he'll be back next week. But so you got me. You got my name is Javon Stokes. For those those don't that don't know clearly, uh, Stoke from a Stoke podcast also. CEO visually stoked, also artist, writer, colorist, anchor on heat and strong. And I'm probably got a whole bunch of other things that I do that you know, y'all know me, y'all know me by now. But welcome to a Stoke podcast. I'm so glad to have you here today. Uh, once again, like I said, welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, very quickly, uh, to the people, if you have. have gone done the strong kickstarter and you haven't received anything yet I, I'm, I'm working on it i don't want y'all to think i forgot about you i'm a one-man band i'm trying to get everything done as fast as possible so i just want you to know i have not forgotten i haven't taken the money and run y'all know where i am y'all know where y'all can find me i'm here every thursday and every tuesday i'm yelling at morgan and danny so y'all know where y'all can find me um but we're gonna get into it real early today because i've been looking forward to this guest for a minute now like i have legit been looking forward to it uh this man you know what i'm, I'm gonna do uh welcome to different stokes <laughs> how's it going i get that what i was going you, like I, i've heard that my entire life fyi um but let me let me give him his introduction let me give him his introduction <clears throat> let me sip let me sip on my uh wendy's that's a free product placement right there. Y'all send me the check. Tonight's guest is an amazing artist and an incredibly entertaining person. Based out of Ohio, an illustrator with a, batch, with a Bachelor of Fine Arts from the Columbus College of Art and Design, he's lent his talents to multiple variant covers for indie sensation like Hot Shot and Lumberjacks, as well as his own creator-owned comic, Taryn. A frequent presence on multiple podcasts, his takes never fail to entertain as well as make viewers laugh. Let's give a stoke round of applause to Ryan Robbins. Welcome. Yes. Hey, man. Do I bring you in? We here. We here. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Let's happened. do it. Let's do it. It's going down. Uh, I've been waiting for this, man. This You might be the only person I know that can be as energetic as I am. <laughs> like real talk, like you, you, you got my Comic Con energy. If you ever see me at Comic Con, I'm, I'm standing up, I'm loud, I'm tr I'm talking to the people over there, I'm pulling people in. You, you got me beat, man. You, you got me beat, bro. Oh, now you put me in fish and clap. I can ruin. We are done, bro. Oh man, it's see, I, I gotta see you that though. Clap in us. <laughs> It's over. It, I, I'm I'm legit dying to see you guys selling. I'm it's I'm legit. I, I was actually thinking about doing um there's a con in, in Ohio. Bro, you should see me conversations. We lose our shit all the time. I, I'm not surprised, man. I, I'm not surprised. I remember y'all on top five. I remember y'all on top five. That was fun. But uh, I, you know, I I didn't know that you were based out of Ohio until I read your your yeah. your bio. I got me, mm -hmm. you know, if you haven't watched the show, me and Jamari, our family is literally based. Our, our my our, my dad's side of the family, his dad's side of the family, is based out of Dayton, Ohio. Oh wow! Um, wow. Yeah, yeah the Stokes family is deep there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I will, I, we'll about. actually be there. We we will actually be in Ohio. Uh, uh, when will we be in Ohio? <coughs> I know I'm trying to come to Ohio because I know I want my grandmother to see my son. Mm -hmm. So I'm trying to make it happen. I'm not sure where Jamari is, but we're trying to make that happen. But yeah, it's, it's I'm I'm always like, oh man, you know all these connections. You know, I know Watson is out there too. Um, oh yeah, there's yeah. A, there's a Do big it. con coming up soon though, right? Yeah, but there's FSK Con coming. We're gonna be there. Like, clap me, fit. It, it's big this year. Like last year was good, but it's, it's doubled up this year. Has, I like, know, man. Put, no, he has put it. 
I, I'm beefing words. with Mike right now, man. I ain't get my invite. Yeah, I told him we beefing. Yeah, we yeah we beefing. I, I told him I ain't get my invite, so you know it's on. It's on. Um, <laughs> Let but, him know. Yeah. Let him know. I already told him, man. I already told him. He tried to tell me it's his secretary fault. I was like, you ain't got no secretary. What you talking about? Um, <laughs> But yeah, man, welcome to the Stoke Podcast. Um, I'm so happy to have you on. Incredibly talented, incredibly talented individual. Um, we we I, listen. I know we got a lot to get into, but I always, you know, if you've watched the show and you've watched a few times, you know, I want to talk to people, get to know where you come from, you know, give you an opportunity to let people know about your journey. So normally, I ask people who are in comics a certain question. But I'm asking you different because you 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 have a lot of fine arts background. Um, when did your love of art begin? When art came about in my life, um, it, I was too. So like, I I I was visually in, by cartoons and films. Uh, my first uh, film that I ever saw that my mom showed me, um, like. Um, Walt Disney, Snow White, and it was something I was literally probably three when I saw it, and I was sitting there stunned, looking at these these paintings and these these cartoons move, and I've never seen anything like it. Like it blew my mind, yeah, you know, which is something cartoons. I was like, wow. After that point, I mean, like it was me watching films for years like watching land before um bambi uh lady tram the aristocat you know 101 dalmatian all these things brought me in about like 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 just seeing drawings move and at two i just like and then i realized that point Point because I was drawing shapes, like not stick figures, and I was drawing like Teenage Mutant Ninja, and it was just like, like they looked like turtles. So it was just like I can kept going, right? And it kept going. Yeah. There you go. There you go. Yeah. Well, yeah, I think I think a lot of people have that same road. Like it's it's either cartoons or it's comic books. One right. way or another, get you. In. Um, were you, either your parents artistic at all? Um, my dad could like sketch, little, like he fell off, like hardcore, <laughs> like like he should do like 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 he can create a picture, but it was like <laughs> it was relatively good, but it was like chicken scratch and shit. So what he was doing, you could make make it out what it was, but like I really got in, and then I really got heavily into it after like fifth grade and it was like my passion was at that point like leaning into it really comics came early for me because like i was an x-men head x-men was like my shit like i I was do or die for x so i bought a lot of x-men comics and then i started getting to like more like dark comics like you know of course you know like miller you know, mm-hmm. you know, mm-hmm. all like Watchmen, all that stuff. So I really started in Daredevil. Daredevil is like my favorite hero of all time. I started doing all really? that shit. Getting into comics. Oh, man, I got like some that. stuff, man. I got some stuff. I got so I got to remember that. I got I to, I got to, because cause I'm a Daredevil guy. I love Daredevil. Daredevil's my boy. See, yeah, the, the funny part Batman. about Daredevil, the funny thing about Daredevil is, I can't think of a time where the book ever had a bad creative team. No, no. Even Kevin Smith they, they, wrote a good run. Like I was shot by his run. It was like it's like fire run. after fire after what? fire. <laughs> yeah. Because <laughs> I, I, like, I remember, wow. I got that joint. I remember yeah. buying it when it first came out. Like the the Kevin Smith Daredevil. Like I wasn't sure I was what to expect. I thought it was going to be jokey. Yeah, I, I thought it was gonna be real Shut jokey, but man, him and and Quesada, no, no he's woo. Doing Captain Daredevil, bro. Like in the room, like. but legitimately, was, they Daredevil has never had a bad artist on the book, never. Not one. 
And it's just like opinion. how this one character, even even more so than Batman, like Daredevil He's, is almost uh, unworthy. Daredevil, Daredevil's consistent. That's all I can say. The show. Consistent. <laughs> Bro, that show, that show is still my number one comic book show all yeah, time. Show of all time. All Agreed. time. All time. Agreed. Um, all right, we can get into that later. I, I, I just, I was, going with that. I gotta stick with that. I don't have Jamari here to 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 keep me on track. Um, <laughs> what, what, what drew you to be a comic book artist? I know you said X Men was kind of like your uh, your entrance into the uh, the hobby, but what made you go? Okay, I want to make these. I mean, like, it was all a thing that I wanted to do. But I didn't know how to outlet outlets or where to go creatively. Because um, I'm not a writer. I don't write really well. Just I can tell a story pictures, but I can't tell a story, like, <laughs> dramatically. So right, right. there's no way. So um, there was an outlet and <clears throat> high school friends. Um, in I think 2016, we started rumbling about like creating an anthology series. Um, um talking about doing an anthology series of just a little short story, and you come up with ideas of what you want to do, and we would do it and we did that. And then we uh started doing individual comics, and I did one of my pieces off that individual comic. Um, but then it fell apart, you know, and like you know, like all things do. Like, it's just like, how do you go and you that outlet and create that outlet? So, like, I haven't really done since, but I can do comics. That's the thing. And, like, for me, it's still there. That passion is still there for it. Um, don't, I do love, because, like, my problem with me is, like, there's a terrible thing with me. It's, like, for me, comics have a... A, a sauce. They have a. It's it's either they, they set a tone for you, and that's the tone you're going to book. And that's what I really enjoy about comics in general. They give you what you want and what you're looking for, no matter what I'm doing or what mm -hmm. you know you feel at the time that you need to read. It's a it's one of the outlets in the world. You know what people knew. You know. But like <laughs> it's it's the ground the thing that people keep on pushing to tell stories, you know. <clears throat> so in my time I've only one comic and to me I don't like it that much anymore. Because of the fact that it was written by me. So that tells you a lot right there. I don't really like it anymore. If I found a writer who can tell me where we can take I would be on board just continue doing it um hey, but man, right now <laughs> writing is a lot faster than drawing for me <clears throat> yeah but then i would just because you know now i've like learned a lot and a lot more because the book is old it's from 2017 or 2016 when i did so if i like if i did it again i would totally redo it and just fucking hard on it you know but okay okay um but like for me it's quintessential you know, and I've always been around people who are built or in that creative field that they really, really enjoy. So, like, and I stay in that field because that's where I feel most, you know, in, in regards to that. But as an artist, you know, I'm a painter. So, okay, there okay. is a line. Okay. line. <laughs> but you can always, like, Cross <laughs> it over, man. There are oh, a lot yeah. of painters that do yeah. comics. Joe Savage has done it. So Jamie Cross does it every day. That, so like, he's a beast, man. <laughs> that that dude, I read anything Alex Ross does. Like it'd be the phone mm -hmm. book, and I'd be like, all right, I got you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Give me that. Give me that. Um, Bro. I I read Kingdom, Kingdom. I read Kingdom Come like twice Kingdom a year. Come for life. Yeah. But I love Marvels though. Like I, I have a love, I have a love for Marvels. Um, I wish he had done the art for Earth X. 
Like, yeah. I wish he had done the interiors for not that John Paul Leon. Don't get me wrong, John Paul Leon put his foot in that. Yeah, he but did. you know, you could kind of see, you know, that that Alec that I feel like Alex Ross wanted to do the interiors, but it was a lot to to ask. I mean, you know, Alex only, you know Ross I mean, it's crazy the way he works. I mean, I watched video because of how he works. I'm like, I. <laughs> Oh, I don't even try. No. I'd be like, you, I don't even you try. Got that, even do it. You do it. You got that. Good for you. You're all right. So, you. so, what? What artists? All right. I asked. This is a twofold question. You ain't got the, you ain't got the Rona, do you? You all right, man? Oh, I'm the Rona. I just still have COVID. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. I, I, yeah, yeah I had COVID no a couple weeks ago, man. Oh, wow. yeah. Man, it is a I, I, I'm gonna tell you right now. They gotta have my of my booster because COVID is unbearable. Okay? It's not fun. Unbe it's the most uncomfortable damn thing I've ever been through. Okay? Bro, it is you, I had it. Uncomfortable. I had it. I think I told the story uh, on the show. I might not have. Uh, I got COVID and then like earlier the day, like I had a show that day. And earlier that day, I, I had my voice. I was good. I was like, I was talking to my wife. I was like, I was coughing a little bit, but I was like, yeah, I'm going to still do my podcast. I want to say about an hour before the show, I lost mm -hmm. my voice. It was gone. Mm -hmm. Anytime I tried to talk, oh. I was choking or coughing. And it was like, COVID is no joke. But I'm, we, we could get into COVID all day. Um, it's unbearable. Two-fold question. What comic book artists do you feel inspire you and what traditional artists do you feel inspire you um i i love honestly um i love ben so ben, ben some cabbage now back in the day it was him trying to find his footing he was mimicking a lot of artists you know but now i am in love with all his work like everything I was a big Jim Lee fan back in the day. Everybody was Everybody's a big They were copying Jim Lee, and I'm like, okay, I don't like him. So, yeah. <laughs> so I was not like, but it's it's in Kevin's right now. Be the grit of his work. It's it's a lot of movement. It's a lot of intensity. Um, so that's what I realized, especially when he started doing Moon Knight was saying he got real heavy on it. Then he started doing a little draw and like there all that kind of like following them yeah, well, you, you gotta check out that new mutants man new mutants is great and he found it his style when it comes to art, a lot of people don't know my art artist he's a spanish painter his name is carlos alonzo i know that name is my every everything but like carlos alonzo is is the ground baking artist Goya's work, if anybody knows Goya, he's more of a, a, a printer, um, but his work is all fucked for me. Mm -hmm. So, and then, you know, like, I like Caravaggio and Rembrandt, but, you know, those are artists everybody knows. So, right, right. you know, but in the long run, favorite artist is Carlos Alonso. Yeah. All right, so I'm going to show some of your stuff. You know, I honestly I had never seen this work from you. I'd seen the stuff that you did with uh I'm I hopefully I didn't <coughs> mispronounce her name, Moana, right? Mm -hmm. We did a book, okay. yeah. That's right. So I've seen that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So I've seen that, but I had never seen like like your your stuff on your website. And yeah, I was this just like mm -hmm. this stuff. I mean, this like this one right here, like I almost wanted to punch you. Like, I was like, this is so damn good. I was like, I might have to, I might have to, I might have to punch this dude, break his damn hand, being this damn good. God, no. Oh. I mean, like, some of this stuff had me like, uh, where is it? I gotta find the one. You did a prince. Oh yeah. Uh, and I gotta find it. You did a prince. You did two prints. Yeah, the uh, first prints really digital, like lights one. Like, like that's something that you know. Like I'm like I need to learn this medium. I need to learn 
right now. Katie, I love you. Let's not talk <laughs> girl. Let's not talk I'll see about Katie you. Work. Katie I'm, is I'm trying young. to get Katie on the show. I'm trying to get Katie on the show she too. Out of her mortals. Her detail and shit that she does is beyond like bang. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I was just like, man, like this stuff is it, it was it's eye catching. It's individualistic in that you're not gonna find like I I can't see uh hold on I'd love to see a, 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 a cover for every upcoming DC black label book followed by every other book of course <laughs> who's that Danny probably Danny um but like it's it's you you know like I there's no another way to say it. it's very much like your own thing you your painting isn't like you know, there are a lot of artists where you can see their work and be like, okay, they're kind of copying this person's style. Like yours is very, you know, it's very, very, I'm, I'm trying to find the right words, but I'm, I'm just going to, you know, I'm going to put my thor th thesaurus away and just be like, it's very like boiled down to the essence. Like, like if I can see that, oh, okay, I know that's your style. Like seeing your work now. I can go, yeah, I know that. This is the one I was like, this one, this yeah, was, was bad. My, my new version. Like, I, I did, I've been, I've been playing around of like doing earlier work that I did back in the beginning to like now to show like where I'm at was. And this is like the new prints that I did. This was for my book series I did, I think, uh, a couple years back. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. Yep. It's, it's not on my website because I haven't updated. In my website for like a couple of years. <laughs> oh man, you gotta get on that, man. Gotta get on that. Right? I need to. Katie says it's very distinctive. You can always tell it's Ryan's work by the colors. Yeah. And every color scheme sets a mood as opposed to yeah. being overly organic. It's more like this is what I'm feeling as opposed to this exactly. is what it looks like in real life. And I and Thank I love you, that. Ryan. Like I I I, I literally you, try to do that myself. I'm I'm, just, I'm way too literal oh in my, my head. I, yeah. I'm trying. Listen, man. I I love people who can do that stuff, which is why, like, I'm with you. I love Sinkevich's work. Sinkevich's yeah. work is like people. There are a lot of people who don't understand his work. Um, no. because no. there was a, it's there was not a that I didn't Jim Lee. Yeah. Oh, I understood it. I the minute I saw Bill Sienkiewicz's work, I understood the hell out of it because I knew it was a feeling. It wasn't a literal translation of what you're seeing. Right. Right. Like right. it's like like Even this, and that's what I mean. Like a lot of people, <laughs> and I think the the problem with comic books sometimes is if you don't have a realistic style, a lot of people tend to. It's like push you away until you get big yeah. and then you know yeah. but like yeah. if you don't have a realistic yeah. style right if you don't have a real if you ain't drawn drawn like jim lee you know what i'm saying or you know yeah. then, then people you know they'll they'll they you know un, but once you make it then it's like your style is great like like sanford green um like uh bitter root guys like i first saw his work oh, yeah. i was like there's so much freaking energy in this artwork and i'm just like like i don't like seeing everybody dr draw the same i hate that like i hate that for real and i know marvel and and don't get me wrong like you know i know marvel has a lot of like they look for certain people that fit a certain style you know what i mean i can't hear you hold on uh, hold on which one Sorry. <laughs> no, nah, you good. You good. Hey, listen, man. We all got family and friends. You, listen, if my son was here, he'd be running in the camera right now. You can hear the dog right now. For you, yeah. so, you know, it's no, it's no worries. Um, so I'm gonna ask you. There's another twofold question. <laughs> Sorry. What, what's the what's the favorite? What's your favorite comic book character to draw? Oh, hmm. give me one. 
I'm gonna make you think about this. This is this. Oh man, man. it's hard. I, I mean, I mean, if it, if it's a female, um, it's Storm because she's just fun. Um, okay. It's, I mean, I've done like consistently who I've drawn a lot continuously is probably Black Panther or Batman. They're pretty like the go tos for me. Okay, okay. Batman <laughs> and anything. So Batman is like, but if I get technical, favorite character to draw of all time is Robin. I've drawn Robin. For is who? Robin. See. This is what this is how I know we get along. I love Robin. I know a lot of people don't like Robin, but I love Robin. It's why I like Nightwing. Nightwing's my Mm -hmm. Nightwing and Captain America are like my two favorite. I'm starting to draw Captain America a lot recently because he's it's now. You know who made me love Captain America? The Mm -hmm. artist, and I will I listen, I will ride for this dude. I love his artwork. Once again, it was when I saw it, it was different than what I had seen from a Marvel artist. Ron Garney. I don't know if you know oh, who yeah. he is. Okay. I know he is. Yeah. Ron Garney mm-hmm. made me love Captain America. I did not like Captain America before Mark Wade and Ron Garney's work. Absolutely. The movie. Didn't like yeah. it. No, this yeah. is way before the movies. This is like 1997. <laughs> 97, mm. 98, when they did their run, I remember picking up the book like, what is this? And like from that moment on, like I fell in love with the character, but that's that's why I love it. Um, okay, so what's your least favorite character to draw? Mm. That like if I somebody don't... asks you to draw, you just be like, oh. I mean, for me, I don't like, like mechanical things. Like, so, like, I drew an Ultron and shit that, like, I don't like drawing, like, like, Modoc and shit. Like, I've done stuff like that. Um, mechanical stuff for me is <clears throat> very distinct mechanics and stuff. It's, like, it's over the top, like, really detailed or I'm not going to like it. So, like, I mean, things that mechanics in it. It's very rare that I'll draw an Iron Man. I can do it. <clears throat> I can draw them, but I don't like drawing them because it, it involves texture. Yep. It involves shape, distinct features. <clears throat> so for me, it's like i rather draw you- Wolverine. You know? <laughs> So. I'm with you. I don't. I, I. I think I've drawn Iron Man a grand total of twice in my life. I, I drew I, Iron Man like maybe six times. <laughs> like mm-hmm. I've only. Well, for me, I'm with Doctor you though. Like, I hate Great. drawing cars. I, I hate drawing cars. Yeah. If I have to draw a car, like if, and and I'm stupid because the writer in me keeps putting cars in my damn books. And I'm just like, and I'll write the script, and then I'll like, put take pick up the script to draw it. And I'm like, what? Why the hell do I have police cars in here? Yeah. Like, why do we need? You don't need. But my uh, book had like car at SUVs. Hated it. Mm, mm, mm. <coughs> I'm All like, right. man, why did why, why'd I do this? That's all right. Like, why'd I do it? Like, I, don't know. It? I don't know. So it got done. Hey, yeah, it always gets done. By the end of it, you just be like, Pfft. "So, give me a dream project." Then you get any Marvel or DC, whichever company comes up to you and says, "What do you want to do?" You know, or, or maybe not Marvel or DC. I wanted to do something. If it was the big two, um, I would love to do like Sandman. Or like, or something that, or Hellboy. Hellboy would probably be my go-to. You Hell, know? Okay. Because I mean, like, I don't. I like because, like, I'm a big horror fan, so I like like horror 
it like stuff and like monsters and things of that nature and you know <clears throat> magic stuff and things of that stuff so it be something around yeah it wouldn't be batman it was superman or any of that kind of stuff so i thought you were going to say batman yeah. i was i was i was yeah. I, I was 100 i loved that man i love drawing Batman, like I have a new Batman, Batman and Catwoman piece that needs to be on my website and stuff. Like, I wouldn't want to like do a, a book. Like, there's there's people, there's probably be an epic run coming up on Batman. So, it's, like, it would be like Hellboy or like Sandman or something. Like, or even Deathlock. I'll I'll be I'll make even an up character that people don't know and like bring them to life and yeah that's that's always been my philosophy we and you we right here man and that's always been my philosophy i keep telling people if these if marvel ever comes to me and they say what do you want to do i'm like give me new warriors yeah right there i would I, bro yeah. i've been waiting to do new warriors for a long time dark hawk yeah because people I mean, yes, 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 bro. Uh, I got a picture of Dark Hulk right go now. Image, like, give, give me Savage Dragon. Oh, that shit. <laughs> <laughs> Savage Dragon. You know, I've only read one Savage Dragon book in my entire life. Dude, it's not, it's not good, dude. <laughs> really? I, I I know a lot of people that. Like, it's not. Turn on. I, it's I like not it. I mean, I like, you know, I like AI. Flux. I loved like Spawn, of course. Spawn still rolling, you know. But Savage Dragon still rolling. Wow, cats. Jesus. <laughs> yeah, those were. You know who? But Alan Moore had a, a pretty good run on Wildcats. I don't he know did. if you knew that. Okay. Like he had a really good run on Wildcats. Uh, uh, and then I'm I was an, I'm a nine I'm a I'm an eighties baby and a nineties kid. So all those image mm -hmm. books, I was I was I was eating them up. I I had yeah, because it was it was new stuff. Fresh, Cyber Force, fresh air, something new. I had code name Strike Force. Yes. Uh, and I only the only reason I got code name Strike Force was because it was a black superhero as the leader, and I was like, yeah, you got me, you got me. Yeah, I don't even and care. Then the and then we had Icon and Static Track and all these. Other like, you know, I be telling like, people it changed my life, man. I, I I almost shed a tear yeah. when I first picked up that hardware, man, because yeah, I was hardware. there. Ground, hardware was, was game like, changer. Ground zero. Hardware was a game changer. It was it was grit. It was in like life. I was like, this is everything. Like, when the storyline yeah. was him reaching the glass ceiling, I was like, it couldn't get that. fifteen, yeah. and I knew what the hell he was talking about. I was like, yeah. mm hmm. Yep, yep. Static when static came out, like most I keep telling people, most people don't know. If you look at the cover for Heat, my first cover for Heat, it's it's basically you know the first cover for static. It's very so subtle. Because, static. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's always been an homage from static. Now, from the beginning, static is static has had a profound effect on my life. To the point where I even hate when people call it static shop. I hate it. Yeah, it's static to me. It's never static yeah, shop. Right, right. Um, but Milestone has had such a huge it, on on every every creator of color that I've ever run into. Milestone was like the turning point for them, where they realized we can do this, and it doesn't have to look like superman and batman and anything and it can be like authentic so i mean yeah i mean i was right there with you but i, I you know i i didn't realize you had such like a uh what's the word i'm looking for uh knowledge of, of <laughs> comic book runs like i like i'm you, you i'm in i'm being impressed now because i'm i'm saying runs that a lot of people don't know about and you over here like yeah yeah i know that one yeah, yeah okay okay so your collection must be huge no. no, no, I just read a lot. <laughs> oh. <laughs> my pop collection is huge. My pop collection is huge, but not. No. Yeah, my I, I I had a larger collection, 
Um, I t- I don't know if I've told this story. I I had a I had a huge collection of comics, friggin' huge man. I'm talking filled up my room, and Ooh. and then I I went to college, and uh, I got an apartment, and I took half my collection with me. Why? Because I was stupid. I was a stupid 19, mm-hmm. 20 year old kid. Good. And I then a I got a toy collection. I used to collect and, then, and then I had a false Don't eviction have- with my apartment. And they kicked, they they took all my stuff out while I was gone. I was actually back home for Christmas. And they like put all my stuff out on the street. So my entire collection just got snapped up. Somebody out there got a great comic book collection. Uh, you're welcome. Yeah, when I, I moved find to out who you are. Yeah, when I moved to Pittsburgh <laughs> for college, I took all my ears to make a display. And then I moved a lot. And over mm. the process, I was like, I was losing it. Mm. Losing them. I mean, huge mm. collection. Like, I'm yeah. just like, this is why I don't buy toys anymore. Because the fact, like, I had seen and I lost them all. I had. Like GI Joes and Turtles, every X Men thing you can think, multiple Blackbird, like, like, like so much stuff, and I lost all. Yeah. So. So what drew you? I have like, I have a little of like toys now. What what drew you to X Men? Because you mentioned you were a big X Men fan. What drew you? I mean, for me, X Men was being on the outside. Um. When everybody there was so much for people being on the outside, and it like drew to me on everything culture and diversity. Though there was not a lot of diversity in fucking um, X Men except Storm and Jubilee. <laughs> it was depressing. But barely. Jubilee is barely. <laughs> barely. They really, barely. A lot of times but they like, don't draw her the way she's supposed to. <laughs> Mutants was about understand. And they hate and fear you. Um, it was a big, big analogy on me and that me because there's things that, like, you know, in life people don't understand about. So it kind of like stayed with me throughout the whole entire process of my um, when I got really into understanding what these characters are about, how they are, and where they come from, and all that stuff. So a very, you know, it still sticks with me because it's like it's just part of me in a way. It's weird. Before weird. I get to the next question, yeah. did you have a favorite X Men? Mm-hmm. Besides Storm, you know, that's every, that's every black person's default. Wolverine. No, my favorite X Men is um, if you, um, Christ. I mean, <clears throat> I like Morph, but Morph. Morph. Is I mean. He, wasn't in the morph. But for me, like morph was my shit. Like I love shape really? shifters. Like I like oh, okay, okay. but I don't like how Mystique is t- today, how people know her today. Like I know a different Mystique. I know a Mystique who is Nam and all this shit and stuff. So yeah. Like new Mystique, you know, but but if I want to get technical, it's probably Kitty So Really? Why Kitty Pride? Yeah. Because she she was the outlet for me. Like even watching the old cartoon and reading the book, like she is the 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 person looking in, you know. So that that that's why I attached her. Not to make my like fucking lock the dragon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I'm pretty. I'm pretty sure you heard on top five. My favorite is Cyclops. Like, I, I'm a Cyclops. Oh yeah. I mean, Cyclops and shit on so many times. Like, and like people don't like the dynamic of Cyclops mentally. So, like, I hope if anything, if the MCU does something, give him redemption. Give that man. If they, if they, if they play Cyclops in the MCU, I'm gonna be so mad. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna have to send. Another separate character that no one gets. I'm gonna be pissed, <laughs> dude. It, it, what makes me mad is there are a lot of people now that are like, Oh, you know, I like Cyclops because he's militant. I'm like, That dude been militant forever. forever. Y'all ain't been paying attention forever. Ever. <laughs> he has never not been militant, but uh, okay, so 
the way you described uh, uh, why you were into the X-Men kind of leads into the question that I talked to you about before the show uh, to get, I, I had to get your, I had to get your, the blessing to be able to ask this question. So you are a loud and proud member of the LBGTQ community. You have never been shy about it. Never been shy about no. it. Um, no. How, how do you view this recent push surge of diversity <clears throat> regarding sexuality with characters? Mainly, I'm not going to talk about independence because independence has been doing this for years. Um, but Marvel and DC have kind of... It's a trend. Yeah, that's how you look at. It? That's how you view it. It's a trend it's on that train because a lot of Gen Z are more open with their sexuality now. A lot of people they're just jumping on that bandwagon to sell books. My opinion. Um, okay. Being gay, being gay is, a, a, is something that is gathering challenge for me um, as a black man in general and mm -hmm. as living an openly gay life. People expect and think in a, an already image of you in their head they don't know anything about you. So, mm -hmm. you know, something that I don't like when sexuality is used as a way or to, or, or to move and push money. Pride anymore. You got all these companies pushing trends and, and jumping on the bag wagon, openly proud and gay for you guys, but don't give money to organizations for homeless people, you know, who are gay, living on the street, living day-to-day -day life, struggling just to make ends meet to look authentic selves. That's why I don't do any of that stuff anymore. Of the fact that it's not real. It's not positioned to be real. You know, we had the right to be in this position where today and it could be taken mm -hmm. away tomorrow. Yeah. <clears throat> so people don't understand the difficulty of what political matters in this life where Roy G uh, where versus Wade um, is turned over which will be next you know things of these things, things they don't yep. understand support yep. the value of what being gay really means to life it's you know it's very easy to be straight very hetero very easy to reap the benefits of being heterosexual here for it love it you are. You live right. Your authentic self as in. But the thing is, we're living our authentic selves and people don't get it because they never will. You know, so things of that nature is something that is a problem for me because I believe in it because it's just it's something is a ploy to get that for their company. Or their business, or whatever they need. Everybody doesn't get it either. Okay, I'm tired of that trend. People trying to understand what relationships are in the world when you're not gay. If you're a straight man, I'm, I'm, I'm smiling. Gay. I'm smiling because I've <laughs> never it. There's a there's. It's a very interesting. The what you're saying is very mm -hmm. similar to the way I feel about the diversity of making characters black and everything like that. And like, I would have never guessed that answer from you. Like never in a million <laughs> years. So oh, like, dude. it's really, really <laughs> interesting because I feel the same way about the put I making. I don't prefer it either because sometimes characters just need to be what they are. You know, and that's that's what it is. Get me wrong. I mean, like I like it, but like you need to make a Superman gay, make a Supergirl gay. You don't need to make that stuff. 
like it's a trend. It's a fad. Now, if the character was gay, it's good. That's what it needs to be, okay. you know? So, like, so I what would you do to change it? What would you do to change it to make you not or what would you do to change it so um, that you don't feel the way you feel about it being a trend? What what needs to happen to prevent it from like you feeling I mean, like okay, this is just a bad thing? It's simple. People need to be educated. You know, there was a reason why we had the Stonewall riots. There was a reason why we had to. There's a re reason why that gay people live their life fully open because they never had the opportunity to live actually open. There are reasons why people are and what they do to be an activist, be a promoter, to find, you know, consolidation to help people who struggle, you know, mm -hmm. saying what we had to, being gay was a struggle for me. It was years of understanding and trying to find out who I am as a person. Knew who I was as a person, but man, a fear, a great fear, you know, family being, being disowned, not being loved, not being understand. Thank God, I have that family. There's many people out in this world who are disowned, don't have family, who don't have support that, that they can go to when they're dreaming and wanting. From their own family. So, it, right. you know, and like when, when people say you choose your own family because gay people and community actually do become family because people don't have family to go to. So, like when, when it comes to people understanding what it is about being gay, don't assume that you know. That's the problem. That's a lot of people's faults when people assume that they they don't, okay? And that's, <coughs> I think for me, people just need to it and know how to stand a community like any other community. It's no different. Do you feel that there are shows, books, whatever, that accurately portray it? You know what you are <coughs> speaking of There's to a level shows that, that, that that have authentic gay, uh, very authentic gay thing. Like I liked Hearts, the YA show. Not a, I wouldn't recommend it for everything, but for me, young like that and can understand gay. It's it's something that's refreshing. There's another. I like I like you. It's a darker. <laughs> version of like but it very 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 dark but it encapsulates things that i like right. you know hey um, I, I tried i tried to make it through for you. I, hey, I think i got through so i think i got through like two or three episodes i was like <laughs> this ain't for me and, <laughs> you know but there's things things that i don't like i didn't like the new chorus thought it was over the top and very stereotypical and i didn't enjoy it you know television needs to represent everyone. There's a gimmick, a trend where gay television does what people want to see mm -hmm. and think they want to see. Gotcha. There's not a lot of like representation of what I would love to see, you know, okay. um, vision, but there's, there's not, you know, it's, it's going to take years, which is beyond me at this point. <laughs> so. Yeah, no, I feel you. I, I just, it's, it's just, it's really interesting to hear, you know, the way you describe it, because I just had, like, I've had this conversation with people, and I, I say the same thing. Like I just, said, I say the same thing about, you know, uh, black shows and everything. I think black shows are a little different, different I mean, I like because it, it's a little bit over the fucking top at times. Wait, what? What show? P Valley. Oh, P Valley. I, you yeah. know, I've always wanted. Like to, there's like there like obviously like I'm I'm just gonna I'm gonna play not play but I I have no problem 
expressing my ignorance when it comes to the homosexual community because yeah, I no, don't. I, I'm I, I, right, you know. Wanting to right, yeah. like I don't have a problem. Like, I, lo- I don't have a problem talking with you, but clearly I don't have a problem talking with you about it. Um, but like I'm always curious as to is this show more accurate for you? Is this show like um the what's the show that is the what's the show? Pose? Uh Pose is, I know my wife watched it. Incredibly accurate. Yeah. Okay. The ball okay. that is that is accurate as fuck. That's one of those a representation. Okay. I've seen, but we're dealing in playing with transsexuals. I mean, like the whole understanding trans is about, and they do a wonderful, wonderful representation of that show. Pose is one of the greatest sellers for LGBTQ culture and for edge and for life in general. Okay. Wanna, All right. I, I, I'll know, give it a shot. My, my wife was watching it. My wife was watching it, and uh, Bad, bro. Uh, I, I think I. I, I, it's sad. Listen, man, I got a lot of I got a lot of shows that I need to get yeah. caught up on, man. I, mean, I got a little, lot of shows. AIDS epidemic. They do a really yeah. good history on AIDS epidemic and all of it. Yeah, it's it's sad. I'm gonna cry a lot. Katie said, "Did you ever see It's a Sin? <laughs> Absolutely heartbreaking. It's sad. I thought it was really. What is it's where really what, is that? Uh, what is that? HBO. Netflix." HBO. HBO. Okay. All right. So we we got we got real serious there. I'm gonna bring it back. We'll come back up. Bring it. Um, what comics are you reading right now? Any mainstream comics right now? I read a lot of indie stuff. So, yeah. yeah. Well, tell me what books. Uh. uh um. I just read all, all of them. I read, um, God, if I can think, give me a second, Javon. Nah, it's okay. Ace There's Blade. a lot of them. Um, Jesus. I don't know. I have a lot in there. <laughs> a lot of unlikely hero shit I read. You know, Green Zone by Fish is really clap five star. I mean, like a lot. I like a lot. I don't think okay. I can go on. Oh. So I you're like. a movie buff. You're a Extremely. movie buff. Terribly. Okay. Because I'm a movie buff. Yeah, we movie agree buff. on a lot of shit really well. I like. know, man. I know. I know. You like I'm horror really movies. Well. Listen, you well. like horror movies, and 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 I love I love horror movies. I find I'm I love horror movies so much. I find cheesy ones, and I watch them. Oh, like yeah. I got no problem. I, I literally, I watch I've been G- watching e- movie. Oh yes, I watch. I watch a crappy mo- B movie. Absolutely. Um, mm-hmm. What's give? What's your like yeah. top three favorite movies? Top three favorite movies of all time that you can watch over and over <laughs> and over and over. You never get tired. Um, never get tired of it. Life of Pi. Um, so really? Ang- yeah. I. The Ang Lee. Whew, that was rough to, for me to get through. It was. It's to me. It's just unbelievably beautiful in so many different ways. It's disgusting how good that movie is. Um, God, repeat films that I can watch over and over again. But like top three favorite films, um, it'd be Life of Pi, Shawshank Redemption. I can watch continuously over and over again. Uh, I'm over. I watch it every time it come on TV. It's hard for me because I like one cuckoo's nest, and because I just love that film. Jack Nicholson is unreal in it. Everybody in that film, from Danny DeVito to Chucky, the voice of Chucky's in that film. Oh yeah, uh, I mean, Dan- I yeah. I can't remember his name. Think of his name. Damn. Um, but and I he's can an hear incredible his voice actor. right now. Right, he's an incredible actor that he does not get enough break. Um, mm-hmm. But one who flew over to Cuckoo's Nest is probably my top three. Um, okay. 
Yeah, a lot of people don't watch One Over Flew Over Cuckoo because none of my faves. What I've seen it. Rewatchable it. films. Rewatchable on all the time. Really? Bro, that just don't get old for me for some odd reason. I it's D2, it. Blade, and Team. Uh, every Constantine. Lord of the Rings film. Oh my God. I watched that fucking shit religiously. I mean, I like Constantine Which too, but I, I, I like, like it too. The, uh, like, it's one of the best portrayals of the film history of all time. Like the best for me. I, I mean, I love, I like Snowpiercer. I can watch continue. Oh my God. I love Snowpiercer so much. I will watch Snowpiercer over and over again. Continuing. Um, I love uh, Snowpiercer, man. Eight, eight days later, uh, okay. I can watch the sun religiously. But have you ever watched the movie? Is. Have you ever watched a movie called Sunshine? Yeah, yeah. Danny Boy. I, I friggin' love that. Chris man. Evans, you have machine. You have Every famous actor right now today and right in now, it. right now is in that film. Stunning, stunning, stunning film. My favorite mm. film of the year. Thing everywhere, all at once. That's with Michelle Yeoh. I gotta That's watch the movie it. I've seen in years. I gotta watch it. I'm late. I, I I only go to movie theaters for Marvel movies because it's like oh, yeah. an event, and I'm still a movie on that. Thor, Love and Thunder. That's the one I've not seen. Yeah. It's not. Yeah, I honestly, dude, I'll be perfectly Watch honest. I said this to Morgan. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. If you go into it understanding, A, who Taika is. Oh, I know who Taika is. And B. All this shit, dude. But, but that's what I'm saying. If you go into it understanding who he is and B. Jojo and, Rabbit is his best film if you haven't seen it. Uh, it's on my list. It's on my list. I gotta get. I gotta get to it. Um, but but he clearly the film is almost like Marvel. Like Marvel just said, "Do your thing, Taika." But that's what they're doing. He, they're giving directors creative freedom now. To want. You watch the multiverse, but I think they leaned a little. It's a horror movie. They, watch it. But they delete. They lean too much. They, I think they did lean a little too far into the comedy. Yeah. Like I think they went, yeah. like they turned it to eleven, and yeah. I think it, it doesn't need to be eleven. Yeah, no, nah, it doesn't need to be eleven. But it's not a bad. I don't think it's a bad movie. I I just think it's Taika. Oh yeah, another rewatchable film, Horizon. <laughs> Bro, I just watched that like two days ago. I just yeah. watched that like two. I'm I not love, lying. I. Love it. Bro, I love just it. watched that like two. Let me tell you why I love Event Horizon. So a black man is the hero. Exactly. A black man exactly. survives. Exactly. And a woman survives. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. And bro, I just watched it. It's incredible. It's believable. It's still incredibly. I, I don't know how. how. Don't know the most realistic don't. part of the film is that the black dude would have rather walk around in space than be on the haunted <laughs> spaceship. He said, nah, I'm bro, I'm going to stay out here. Y'all could be in there. I'm going to stay out here. Yeah. He spent the whole movie in a spaceship. <laughs> he spent the whole movie in, in, in a spacesuit. <laughs> I just watched that yeah. movie, man. I yeah, love well, I mean, Event Horizon. Huge, I'm a huge movie buff. I watch. I, I'll tell you a movie that I watch over and over and over uh, again. I'm gonna tell you a movie I watch over and over and over again, from dusk till dawn. Dude, I can watch from dusk till dawn. Dude, I think I watched dusk till dawn like four ago, dude. And I'm just like, yeah. When I saw your list, when I saw your list, definitely great. Like, there's only a few vampire films that I like because they, I like a lot of vampire films because they just make the monster, like, as the day is terrible. Um, but my, my favorite interpretation of a vampire film is Let the Right, the Swedish version. 
Which one? The, okay, so I haven't original. seen I haven't seen the Swedish version yet. I've seen yeah. the American version. At the end um, is the American version. Now they're making a right. show, which I don't know how the fuck that's going to work. So, um, yeah, they're gonna stretch that so out to death. They, I don't know how they're gonna, show, but like I'll tell you, they, a vampire the, the, show. Yeah, let that bad, but uh, let the right be the best interpretation of what a vampire would be if it was like it's I, i'm gonna have to like watch the it authentic interpretation that i can think of um I, I, of course, I'll, I like give you, I'll give you a vampire movie i'll give you a vampire movie that's a little corny but i fucking love that i love it i love it john carpenter's vampires Vampires with fucking <laughs> it's so bad it's good it's so bad. I swear to you, I never get tired of watching that movie. I never get tired. I just watched it like, like a yes, month Katie. ago. Yes. Only lovers left alive. I Dude. heard of that. Yeah, John Carpenter's Vampires is fucking hilarious. It's unbelievable. Just cheesy as hell. Oh, it's it's, it's so, so bad. bad. It's good. So bad. It's good. It's so bad. It's good. Yeah. I, I I've but seen I Van Helsing, but I can't remember anything about it. Van Helsing is fucking awful. It's so bad. It's good, but like it, it's it only goes down to three films for me. It, four actually: the original Nosferatu, Let the Right One In, Bram Stoker, and Interview with the Bam. I, like I love no Bram other. Film, there's no other film films that give the best interpretation of a vampire. Um, yeah. Not even Blade. Blade for me, popcorn beauty. Like, but Blade for me, the this quintessential Marvel film. It's still hard to bet, in my opinion. Like, there's only like four Marvel films that I continuously watch. That's, that's Infinity War, Endgame. You got and you got fucking Captain America. Or something. I don't really watch anything. Sticks to me. Besides Iron Man, I can watch it. But you know, when it comes to Marvel films, there's a period where they became like shows for me. You know, they changed the game for for me. And now Wakanda Forever looks like it's going to change the game again. So I, I don't enjoy boy like the Incredible Hulk. I didn't like or you know. I like Thor Ragnarok. I don't like Dark World. I like like the second Guardians film. Like there's 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 hit and misses for films. But when, when I get yeah, real, but I will say what about one the Spider Man movie? I only like No Way Home. I didn't like Homecoming. I didn't like the second one. So you didn't like Homecoming? I only like. Sorry. What? Hey, Hi, Daddy. hey buddy. Hi, I'm um, good, buddy. I'll say this, Javon. The movie is bad. No, no, I've said that a long time ago. I said every single Marvel movie is entertaining. Yeah. Every single one. Greatly written. There's character development. You're in it for it. It's there. Like, I don't like Doctor Strange, but I fucking loved it. It's entertaining. It's well, like a roller coaster. Me, it, was Iron, it was Iron Man 2. Magic. Like, <clears throat> but for me, it because it's you're in that story, you're entertained. This A, B, and C, and it's shit, you know. So like, I, but I can say these D films are shit. <laughs> I can literally <laughs> say that because they are, you know. Wonder Woman was good. That's the only one I like, Javon. Nah, Still. Shazam was okay. I, Besides Man of Steel, which you hate, which is okay. I hate <laughs> Don't. I know we're not going to talk about it, but, you know. I, you saw, I you saw the anger raise. Yeah, my, you yeah. saw the anger okay. in my chest. No, I saw the, the blood boiling. <laughs> <laughs> I saw it growing. I, saw I can't growing. stand but that movie, Shazam man. Is it's so bad. Shazam is really good. Yeah. I like Aquaman, Aquaman would have been good if they stretched it's it into, like, three yeah. movies. Yeah. 
It was just too it's like much. Two movies in one film. Okay, great. Yeah, like I was like, I, I, we're watching it, and I was just kept looking at my clock, like, wait a minute, is this the same movie? Yeah, we got piranhas now. Like, wait, now it, we're in it, an underground it goes fortress. Off the motherfucking rails, dude. It goes. Oh, it goes off the rails. And then it's yeah. like at the end, the big underwater fight is just like, like I felt like I was going to have like a stroke. Like it was the mm-hmm. colors. The, I was just like, yo. Uh, I don't even know what's happening anymore. Like a lot going on, a uh, lot going on in that movie. Um, I think for me, but, but I got to give it to you. Interview with a vampire. Interview with a vampire to me is closer to real vampires, even than uh, uh, Bram Stoker's. Bram Stoker's is all is, is a lot of style, right? But like, Bram Stoker's is beautiful texturally. Oh yeah, absolutely. Dramatic, yes. like, yes. It is really driven by it's like reading a like if you think of a novel in that mm. era, and, mm-hmm. if you, and if it's illustrated, it's your movie. Like yeah, right there. absolutely, absolutely. Um, okay. <laughs> Katie said, "All I remember of Aquaman is topless Jason Momoa." <laughs> <laughs> you, you, and every other uh, fan of his female out uh, there. Any, every, I every, mean, there's not a movie he's been in that he hasn't been. <laughs> Topless at one point. Well, if you were a vampire, you were a vampire. How would you deal with the kind of thing? Yeah, I I honestly think. Yeah, to me that was like the best acting Tom Cruise ever did, bro. To this day, let me tell you, Tom Cruise. Let me tell you, I like fucking Tom Cruise in only three goddamn movies. Scratch that. Minority Report, The Last Samurai. Interview with the vampire, motherfucking vanilla sky. So that you he's ever made. No, I, no, you there will not be Mission Impossible Mission slander Impossible. on this film. show. Entertaining film. Okay, I'm okay. Like, Ethan Hunt. <laughs> okay, all right. I, I was just gonna say, but like, Mission of Films as a film. Entertaining is all. I yeah. will. I will yeah. watch a Mission Impossible movie over and over and no, over. I watch again. Ghost Protocol. Ghost Protocol religiously, dude. I love. I, Ghost I, Protocol. I like Ghost Protocol. I like Ghost Protocol. So, we'll like, see you on after. The only problem I have with the Mission Impossible movies is um, you can't remember. Uh, how many? <laughs> huh? I can't. Oh, Ghost Protocol, bro. Because the. Names. No, I remember. Like, I, I remember. I remember them all. But my only problem is how many times are they gonna use the disavow thing? Like that was the. That's the yeah. only thing. Like it's like yeah. every other movie, this man get disavowed, and I'm like, all right, guys, watch like, Mission you, Impossible you, two because it's trash. Mission Impossible one, three, four, and five are great. Like you don't I'm like two. Forward... <clears throat> I do not. Mm. But in, no. but anyway, interview with a vampire. Like I I I loved it because it really went into like the 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 society of yep. of, of vampires, and mm-hmm. it really spoke to the fact that like they were living forever. So like it was very palpable. Yeah, like, I I don't know if that's a real like um yeah it made you feel like. These people are found right now, like kind of thing. Right, like when they burned the little That's girl why and the... Claudia, Cla- Kristen Dunn's best performance to this day. To this day, Kristen when, Dunn's when they burned best her and before. the other woman, I was like, man. Yeah. That's that's one of the few yeah. movies you see where a little kid get murked, man. <laughs> you don't you don't see that often. That's what I'm saying. There's no holding back, in know. A... But that's when films were. Films, man. People who are making real films right now, studio wise, is wanting four and like Warner Brothers here and there. But like <laughs> they are marketed as, you know, just. I don't know. But did you don't... see Matt Damon talk about that? No. So. Matt Damon basically said he was doing a what's the show where they eat like the hot wings? Oh like, yeah, hot one. one. Yeah, yeah, he was doing hot ones, and they asked him about it, and he was like, "Well, you know, back in the day, like if a movie, if a, if they put out a movie, and it did X amount of the movie theaters, 
they would be able to recoup some of their money through DVD sales. Mm -hmm. So that's why you could get like a, like a, like a, like an interview with a vampire. Like you could do an interview with a vampire and it might not blow up the, you know, the, but it the, the box DVD. office. Yeah. Right. It would blow up with Physical. DVD. And, right. He was saying that with the advent of streaming, that revenue is gone. Yeah. Right. It's so that's media. why. Yeah. This media is on its way out and probably the next. Yeah. Yeah. I hope, honestly, like I know a lot of people are, you know, going over and, and reading comic books online and digitally. I just can't, man. I, I need like to feel physical. the book. I like, I like feeling physical shit, you know? Yeah, like, I like to read the book. Like, I don't know if it's a generation thing, but for me, it's just, I need that exposure, you know? Like, I just And then, we, I don't have to worry about my comic book running out of battery. You know what I'm saying? Like, I could go... Or when the internet crashes, everything is like... <laughs> People you still know? make fun of I mean, people still make fun of me because I buy DVDs. I still buy every Marvel movie. I try to at least. Then then they were then films. they were rapid. I buy films. Yeah, that I want. If yeah. I want them, I'll go buy. But like, I don't. I don't buy. buy like, there's a lot of shitty movies. <laughs> okay. Okay. So all right. So you got to tell me. So since you're aficionado, and we'll probably do this on top five at some point or another. Are you, do you like, do you watch like apocalyptic movies? Or like, are you into that? Like, Roland Emmerich movies, like 12. You don't have to be like that. I'm, it oh. can be like, yeah, uh, love, what's uh, the movie? I uh, love apocalyptic the movies. The Road. Have you ever like, watched that? What is it? The Road. What was it? The Road? With the Road. Oh. 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 The Road. I told you. Watch movies, man. Oh, bro, it's so good. The book of Eli. It's like, <laughs> oh, the road. I dude, like the book of Eli. Man. That's a deep cut. I guarantee you, most of these motherfuckers I don't even know what the road is, bro. Yeah, I remember watching it. I remember watching it, and I got to the end, and I was like, that movie is depressing. depressing. You need to take a Xanax. <laughs> <laughs> good it is. That's how good it is. That's a good That's movie. That's how good it is. Uh, Great movie. But I, I like Roland Emmerich movies. Like, I love 2012. I watch 2012 every time it come on, man. I don't even care, dude. I know it's corny. I know there's some stuff in there that don't make no sense. Religiously, and I'm like, why do you... Why do you like... Why, I don't why, know. Why Roland? He watches... He watches... 20, he watched that Jake Gyllenhaal. He loves disaster. Jake Gyllenhaal. Wait, which one is that? It's a Roland Emmerich movie. Um, it's before 20. I think it's called The Day After Tomorrow. Oh, you know? I love Day After Tomorrow. I don't care. I don't care. Yeah. I'm unapologetic. That's the, I just showed him Cloverfield the other day. He's like, what is this? You know, the only thing he didn't <laughs> like is because it's a standstill kid. But he loved it. Like, he likes disaster movies. It's like, why? I I like Cloverfield, well, but like the 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 whole thing where he's rushing to go get this girl who basically played him at his yeah. own party. I was like, listen, man, <laughs> I don't like know if that could have been me. I didn't like the plot, but guess who made it, Javon? Cloverfield that I found. What directed Please it? Please made Cloverfield, bro. Who made yeah, it? yeah. Made Batman. I didn't even know that. That, like, that doesn't, yeah. This is, Matt is one of his first films right here. I was like, wow. Because I, I know Matt Reeves from the greatest trilogy ever. That's who I, I know him from. But, I liked, I think I only liked the first two of that trilogy. Of the Planet of the I don't Age know trilogy? if I really liked the third one. I don't know if I, 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 I know I saw, I saw the third one, but it didn't stick with me. I mean, if you want to get tech stick with you at all, but no, I like, like the I first one. Yeah, I like the, the first one. Love the second. I actually think I just watched the second one today. Yeah, the second one. Um, I'll give you a good movie. I don't know if you've seen. Let's talk about movie. trilogy. Let's talk about trilogy. Jeez. <laughs> trilogy. Oh, you know me. I love let's Lord of the Rings, go. man. Oh, 
Well, what's I love your Lord favorite? of the Rings. Lord of the Rings. That's not even hard. L O R. Give me it? the extended cut too. Give me the extended. No, version. I don't watch. I don't read the normal ones. I only watch extended cuts. Like I don't even watch the normal ones. Like, I, I love the Lord of the Rings, man. Now, what I don't watch, I did not. I didn't like the Hobbit. No, I didn't. I don't. Want I didn't make it past the, the first one. I'll tell you right now, I only, watch, I only like one of them, and that's the desolation of the second one. I don't like the first one. I don't like the third one. The battles, they're all trash. Desolation of Smog, though, in the loop. <laughs> but that's I didn't even I'm watch doing. the second one. I watched the first one, and I was like, at the end of it, I was like, me. I remember me and my boy went to go watch it because my wife was like, no, nah, I don't. Really, it's too long. I don't want to go see that. And so me and my boy went to go see it, and at the end of it, we were like, oh, "What the heck did we just watch? Like this is so dry and boring." I was like, "No, nah, I'm good. I, I, I'll sit out the other two. But uh, yes, the Hobbit. Uh, yes. I, I, I'm trying to think of other other trilogies of like. I mean, I like the Matrix trilogy. I know a lot of people don't like two and three. Two's I good. think two is okay. Three. Two I love three. three. <laughs> Javon reloaded grew on me because I kept I watching it for like a year. Load, I'm like, oh, I see what they're doing here. I, I like three. Like, I know. Yeah. That fight at the but end of three, three. That fight at the end of three was enough. That was it. It's a little toasty. It's I like toasty. it. I like it. Uh, let's girl see, other drag- trilogy. The girl with the dragon tattoo. What the 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 originals or the the original? The The original, not the American. I tried to watch the remake. I was like, nah, this ain't for me. No. Um, Um, I'm trying to think of other trilogies, man. John Wick trilogy. Well, we can't call that a trilogy no more because he's about to drop another one. Yeah. Yeah, he's about to drop another one. Um. You know what? I, I'm not a big Star Wars guy. I'm gonna be honest. I have never I, seen let me tell you something. This is where because I'm not a big Star Wars guy. <laughs> but it is so boring to me. I, I, I appreciate what they do. So I'll tell you this. I don't like a new hope. Do what the fuck anybody says? Which one is that? I don't like it. Episode four, the first one. Is that the first one? Let me tell you. Yeah. I sat down to watch it. I got five minutes in, and I was like, this is the dumbest thing I've ever seen. It's and good. I turned it off. It's no, good. But I can't. Empire Strikes Back is quintal. No hard back. Pure Star Wars. Goopity goop. <laughs> That's what hooked me. Pretty good. Star Wars. I didn't watch Wars a New Hope, but, but when I watched Empire Strikes Back, I'm so. Then I watched Return of the Jedi. Now, this is a marketing ploy. Don't like it. This is this thing, except the end. I like the end of the movie. Cool. Different generation. I fucking hate them. New absolute trap. Mandalorian gold. I keep hearing that. I'll tell you the Star Wars movie I watched. I'll tell you the Star Wars movie I watched that I liked. Uh, Rogue One. Greatest Star Wars movie ever made. Because I didn't, none of the other corny crap was in it. You know what I mean? Like it was its own thing. The corny crap But it's not to the level. Like so, I mean, good. like when they start talking about when when the movies start talking about the force and everything, I don't know why. It, and 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 I'm and I'm a comic book guy, so the concept of superpowers isn't exactly like foreign <laughs> to me. But like in my mind, I'm like, well, if they got the force, why are you using swords? Like, why? Mind, you're good book. You love Rogue One. You're good in my book. I like, like that's the only one I like. Rogue One is amazing. The last I, two minutes, Vader just slicing the. Shit out of people. Now that was cool. That was cool. But I watched. Like, I watched the first of the prequels. 
I got forced into going to see that. I was in college and my friends were all like, yeah, I was just like, but it's still corny to me. Like all of it, dude, all of it. I try so hard. I have tried to like Star Wars for decades now. And I feel like what happened, I missed that point as a kid where if I watched it, it would have been cool. And it would have stuck with me. It's, I mean, it's, it's the Superman syndrome. Cinema. It it just it changed cinema. So no, no, no. I respect what it is. Yeah, but the movies are so boring. God, dog. I tried so hard to make it through the first. One. <laughs> I was even. I was even like like. Um, I was even commenting in real time on Facebook. And I, I, think I got like five minutes and I was like, yo, I'm sorry, guys. I, this is over. I'm I mean, done. but like, if you want to get stuck, Phantom Menace is a political movie. Like, it's literally a political Like, why are we making this? Which bored the media. For kids when you're, it's a political trial movie. I feel like I was like, watching nobody's fan. Fan that. And then your second one is, oh my God. No, we're not going to talk about it. Stop. I, I, I was just trying to tell you. That's why it's not one of my favorite. Uh, I tell you, uh, uh, it's not a trilogy. It's a trilogy, but I only like the middle film. I love Desperado. That's one of my favorite movies. Yes, I watch yes. Antonio Dan Banderas and Salma Hayek on Desperado all damn day. I love that film. film. I lo- I'll tell you one of my favorite films. I don't know if you've seen it, but you know you've been you've been going step for step for me, so I'm I'm very impressed. Uh, have you seen the game? Gerard Butler? No, with Michael oh. Douglas. Have you, you not seen this movie? Me. I don't think I have, sir. It's old though. After after this show, get off and go watch the game. With Michael Douglas, I'll go, watch go watch it. That I, you will not be. You will not be. You, oh my gosh! You 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 better you better tell me. <laughs> you better tell me if you liked it. I love that friggin' movie, man. Um, I know another movie I saw that I thought was really and it's a re- it's a relatively new movie, but it was such a great like character study. But it was so much like they built tension so freaking well. Uh, the invitation. The invitation. Or it, 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 I saw it on Netflix. It's a. I think it's a, it's a guy that goes to visit his old house with his ex-wife and her new husband. I feel like oh. I've seen this movie. Now you got homework, man. Do. That's I that's do. dude. That movie. I like thrillers, right? Like, I like movies. Oh, dude, I, I live. I, live I, I like movies. like a good twist, bro. I like a good twist in a movie, bro. bro. I'd be like, oh, shit, that just went a thing. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'm trying to think of a movie that had a great plot twist. The game does. Um, bro, most people think, like, Orphan Black is one of the greatest plot twists ever. Like, no I've never watched really Orphan is. Black, dude. I've never watched Orphan Black. A lot of people um, got thrown from the Sixth Sense. It's a good plot twist movie. Sixth Sense um, was a good plot twist. We actually did a top five plot twist movie. Mm-hmm. But like, I can't remember. What, what was like, my mo- hold on? Let me see. Though. I could probably find. Hard it. to come by. They're hard to come by. I to me, I gotta not. Okay. 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 And so I put my top five were The Usual Suspects, great movie. Six Sense, great movie. Yep. Saw, great movie. I didn't see that shit coming. No, nobody did. I don't care who you Peter, said. I didn't you, see that shit coming. I didn't not see one person. Peter, I was like, oh, that nigga's just sitting there watching. Oh, my God. Like, yeah. Yeah, uh, I didn't see that. Coming. Old boy, have you ever seen Old Boy? Yeah, yeah, that's a good plot okay, twist. Okay. American Beauty is a good plot twist for me too. Because I, I, that, I mean, uh, I, the I plot twist was in. I know I've seen he it. Got, yeah, he got killed. At the, the guy got shot, right? Yeah, you didn't see that guy. 
So, yeah. but the last, I will tell you right now, and I don't give a fuck with any. The last ten minutes of that movie is some of the film I've ever seen on film. Fight okay. me, okay? Fight me. American Beauty. Bitch. I've, yeah. I've seen it a couple of times. I've seen it a couple of times. I, can't uh, I put I can't watch it today. I can't watch it today because freaks me out. It Fair used enough. to be one of my Fair favorite, enough. but it's not now because I just yeah you know. yeah. That's kind of how I feel about the Usual Suspects. Uh, him and Brian Singer. That's oh God, Brian Jesus Christ. I, to, listen, that's why I, I have said this. That's why I can't watch. I've said this for. I've said this for a very long time. We have yet to see a great X Men movie. Oh no, we have, and and Fox doesn't even deserve Logan. Like, there's been no. I still think Logan. No, the closest X Men movie that I love and enjoy is Days of Future Past, and I don't even know if that's even in film, dude. Because I would there, say it's, it's more first class was. It. First class was probably the closest. Closest to big book movie. Yeah. Well, what I'm saying is, like, we haven't yeah. seen we haven't seen the X Men movie like as a team. It's always like Wolverine. Oh, no, no. And then they built X Two, and then X Three came out and shattered all that shit. It was just awful. <laughs> like, they was played like, they played Cyclops in every movie, so I was like, oh my God, they when, played when, when they kill him. When they kill X2, him. In X3, he was only in the film for like. Ten, like not even. I don't even think the nigga had screen time, bro. bro. I don't think he had like, more so than bad. ten lines. I don't think he had more than ten lines. Like, Lady Deathstrike had more time than fucking. It's awful. My my friends had like, to. What? My friends had to stop me from walking out of X three when they killed him. I was like, no. Nah, and then they killed him off, off screen. Like you didn't even see him die. They him off, off screen. <laughs> like the worst cut movie I've ever seen in my life. Ever. I, I'll give you one more one more twist. Uh The Mist. Bro, I just watched The Mist two day, days ago. <laughs> I'm like, this is the most all up ending to any film ever. Fight me. <laughs> Fight me on it. The Mist, and that's not even the book ends. They wrote that shit just to make you leave the theater like <laughs> the first time I saw that I was like, nah. 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 And I hate nah. the mess, bro. I hate the but the end to that you movie. hate the movie? Bro, I can't stand that guy. I did notice I this. Movie. Bro, Javon, everybody that is in that movie. <laughs> Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Cause, cause the, um, the you got cause the director is the director is the guy who yeah. did the first season. Yeah, yeah. Everybody, yeah, yeah, yeah. In the movie, <laughs> I, 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 got a. I, oh man, I had it. I had a uh, a twist one for you. Damn, I just I the mess is up there. I, that's a that's one. Oh, of where is it? Not that one. Is a really great one. Um, I just forgot it just that quick. It's all good. Damn. Not, 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 not. Damn. It was a really great one, too. Ah, oh, damn. I, I, I lost it. I lost it. But I mean, I, I appreciate talking with somebody who, who I can. Say an obscure behind movie, you know? Yeah, I know what that is. Yeah, yeah, yeah I know that one. Yeah, yeah, I love that movie. Here for it because I don't get to do that. I, I, I don't do that often. I am here because you know, Danny's Danny only likes certain type of movies, and Morgan don't watch movies after like a certain like nineteen ninety five or something. Like he just why he why? he some said he don't like some of the best films are. He said he don't like movies that look old, man. That's what he said. What does that mean? Film is film, bro. Just because you don't like the graphics or the CG at that time, that shit was groundbreaking. Come he on, said he don't man. like it. He's not about like graphics and shit. 
He's spoiled. Spoiled. Now I I tell you a movie. Oh, Boy. Twelve Monkeys. Oh my God, Twelve Monkeys is great. Yes. The first time I watched yeah. that, it blew my mind. I didn't know what I was watching. Yeah. I think I might have watched it with my mom too. My mom was a like, big, big like, film one person. Of my favorite film of all time is Cell, like with Ez and Vincent. Okay. Okay. Mario, Vince Vaughn. Like that's one of films on film if you haven't seen it. <laughs> so, okay. Okay. Oh, Morgan, I remember. Yeah. Sorry, Morgan. It doesn't have Chris cut CGI shit. But it's one actually of the, the best CGI is pretty damn time. good. The CGI yeah. is pretty good in that movie. I, truth be told, it's pretty good. I don't know. I don't know about. My- <laughs> <laughs> he gonna be mad. He gonna be mad. I I I just put his business. Out. Hey, show. he said it. <laughs> say what? I don't watch films after night. Because I, I would say because I used because I would say to him like, "Did you see this?" And he's like, "Nah, I look old." I'm like, "What you mean it look old?" He's like, yeah, the I thing don't is watch old. It. It's old and people still. I watch love the thing. the thing, dude. The scene where the dude is about to shock him and he puts his hands in it, man. And then I read how they did it, and I was yeah. just like, bro, some of the shit they just wow. put out together and just pulled it. I was like, what? Like they literally got a dude who is missing his <laughs> forearms. Like mm-hmm. Like, oh. like, I was just like, wow. Like, that movie, the, the movie actual... Making, movie making is the best watching films. I love watching documentaries about how movies are made. Max, Star Wars, like, things that, like, scouting locations, making a film. It's one of the most hardest to do. Like, and we, we are so spoiled today. They yeah. don't understand the time, the patience, the, the direct, all this shit to make something that we and all people do now. Is shit, I'm over the fandom. Bro. Over it. Well, it's funny. I I said this to I think it was Jamari. Um, we had a conversation about this, and I was like, you know, fandom I miss when people. I I miss when people just watched movies without trying to be critics mm-hmm. like nobody does that anymore like yep. it's like i need to critique this i'm like no dude no one cares about your critique man like no one cares mm-hmm. like i hate to tell you this but you're not siskel and ebert you're right. not getting paid for it like just freaking enjoy right. the and movie film degree <laughs> like <laughs> that's why i say like if i like something you like it i don't talk about it I never like, say anything. I talk about it. Like, because if I don't or, like or it. When people, or when people say, oh, the, the pacing was uneven. I was like, do you even know what that means? Every time I see somebody saying, I'm like, do you know what that means? The pacing was uneven? Like, explain to me what you mean by that. <laughs> I, I call people on it all the time. I can tell a film. If it, if the story is broken, or if it was edited wrong, the movie no editing is like, different. Like yeah. the Suicide Squad, and not the not James, not James Gunn Suicide, the original Squad. That movie is a fucking hot mess. I don't even know how. Yeah. How? I don't even know how that shit was distributed. I even put that on film. Like it was awful. <laughs> I, I think I you watched talk, it. You want to talk about pacing? You want to talk about pacing that bullshit right there? I think I watched it up until the point where Will Smith said, "So what are we, some kind of Suicide Squad?" I was like, "No, nah, I'm good." <laughs> I was like, "I'm all right. I, I don't need to finish it's watching." So I think bad. It's, it's so bad. That it's yeah. Not- I, I I think I stopped watching it, and then I was like, you know, the completest in me was like, Javon, just finish the movie. Like it, movie yeah. once, I'll never watch it ever again. Oh no, I'm, I'm, I'm I can I tell you a movie that I didn't make it through. Joker. I did not make it through it. I was like, this this is whack. Like I hate it. I'm not like I'm. 
seen a sequel. I like I like Joker though. I, I was just character. like, I'm just gonna go watch Dog Day after good, good character study on mental health. But it, it's not everybody's cup of tea. And I can see why. It's not. It really is. It, yeah, maybe like, if it wasn't really called watched. Joker. Maybe if it wasn't called Joker. Yeah, you could call it something else. I, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I agree with that. But it, it took yeah, so I, much from other films that I was kind of like, man, yeah. this is like this is almost like plagiarism. Putting Bruce Wayne into it stipulates the, the problem general in the way. I didn't even make it to that point. I didn't make yeah. it to that point. Well, <clears throat> at the movie, <clears throat> excuse me. Character study, good character study on it's it's a great film shot. It's shot beautifully, but it could have else, I agree. It didn't have to be in a comic book world. Yeah. All right, so I'm not we we not gonna hold you all night because I we really could literally do this. Like if there's there are very few people that I can go toe to toe with on movies, but you got homework tonight, so I won't get you to your homework. But bef but before we get there, as always, before we go, we do a top five. This one is less antagonistic than top five lives is. You know, we we, we, we keep it calm. Uh. You know, we've actually had some pretty uh, chill ones lately. Yeah, yeah. Um, I've had some good top fives lately, though. Yeah, good, good. Yeah, good. yeah, we've actually had some good ones. Not, we haven't had yeah. too many. Like, what the hell are you doing? Yeah, episodes. I, uh, I, I read Danny's list for Zoner. Doesn't make sense. Like, that's not his hobby. That's Danny, man. You got to give Danny one mulligan. That's the way I looked at it. You got to give him one mulligan. You got to give him one movie where you're just like, all right, that's a Danny, that's a Danny but pick. All right. Cool. Like, this is lately. I'm like, I'm, I'm it's like, good. <laughs> <laughs> all right, here we go. So I just want you to know I changed this top five in the middle of the show because we were going to do something else. But because you, you mentioned it, but we went away from it, I was like, all right, we're going to do it. So your top five, our top five for tonight is top five horror movies. Oh, oh. okay, we can do it. Do it. No particular order. Mm -hmm. Five. I gotta get it. let the right one. Four. Alien. The blob because it scared the shit out of me. When I... <laughs> the blob. Yeah. The blob. New Which school one? blob. Eighties. New oh, school. Okay. Eighties blob. The pink goo shit. Yeah. Yeah. When, when the motherfucking blob ate the dude, I was I was like, I am done with this movie. <laughs> uh, two. The Exorcist. But okay. I'm not really scared of that film. I just love the film. And one, the mm. Ethan Hawk Sinister. Okay, 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 okay. Sinister sticks with me, the boggle sticks with me. Like, I love the way that film was done. Yeah. Okay. Uh, no, before I give my list, the funny you mentioned the blob. There's a sh there's a movie. Is it? Is it? Is I only it put the that's an actual film that actually scared. Oh, so, yeah. Okay. When I was a kid. I mean, I, I I can do that. We can do that in this list. I can tell you, movies <laughs> actually scared. The blob. The blob is still good. It's it's awful. It's but there, there's a it's not. It's right. a, what is it called? It's a movie called. Is it Freak Show? Yeah, is Freak Show is Freak Show is bad. <laughs> with with the, it's like three different stories, right? Stories. Freak Show. Mm -hmm. But but did you it, it, the reason you brought the blob and it reminded me because there's like I think it's Freak Show where there's a one of the movies is like these friends that are stuck on like this plank. This like thing in the middle of the water, and like there's goo all around them, and it's it is like that was the first thing that came to mind. Yeah. All right. 
here's my top five. These are the movies that actually scared me. That legit had me shook after the movie ended. Lights out. In no Lights particular order. I should have put lights out on. It's actually really, really. Saw that shit that, in the theater. That was fun. That's short though. Yeah. The end of that. Yeah. Short? Yeah, bro. I, mean, I made the mistake of watching that joint like at night before I went to bed. It was the yeah. dumbest thing I've ever did. All right. Yeah. Uh, let's see. The ring. That's yeah, good. The ring scared the bejesus out of me. It's good. I saw it in college. I tell this story all the time about The Ring. This is why I wish Mike watched horror movies. <laughs> Dude, listen. I went to the, we went, I was in the movie theater. It's a real quick story. I, we, were, we were in there watching The Ring. You've seen The Ring. Mm -hmm. In the first five minutes, that little first five minute thing that happens with The Ring, these two dudes had to be like six foot two, six foot three muscular dudes got up and you audibly heard them go, nah, bruh, and leave. They left. What? They did not come back. Uh, and then I had these, there was these two young ladies sitting next to, next to me. And I would, t I would say maybe by the middle of the movie, they went from one seat to, they went from two seats to one seat. And they were both like hugged up on each other, like shaking. That's what the ring, the ring did. did. The, the ring, ring did, did that to them. The oh ring did that to goodness. them, bruh. I, at the end of the night, wow. I remember going back to my to my dorm room, and I had all these like tapes without labels on them. And I just was sitting there looking at them, like I will never watch these again. Okay. <laughs> I was like, What's I'll never watch them again. What's four? Uh, four? Four is a very is a kind of an obscure one. I will never watch this movie again. That's how much it freaked me out and pissed me off at the same time. The Collector. Oh, that's a good. I own the Collector. The ending of that yeah. movie made me so mad. I I, I, I remember yeah. telling my wife about it, and I was like, when when he shut him back in. To this day, I won't Ooh. watch that movie again. It made me yep. that mad. Ooh. What's number um, three? <sighs> I will go Dawn of the Dead. Dawn of the, the Snyder Dead remake. Snyder one of the one of the best remakes of all time. In my opinion. That yeah. the scene with the little girl at the beginning mm -hmm. is the. I got listen, lives, I got kids. Lives with, yeah. I got kids. I got yeah. kids. When I when I was when I was when I was dating my wife before we got married and I was spending the night at her house, and I promise you it happened like two or three times. Her kids would get up in the middle of the night and they would stand in the doorway. And that movie is always fresh in my mind. And so, like every time I would Dawn of the Dead. Right. And they got and they got the sprinting uh uh damn zombies yeah, in them. Running. It's Bruh. Two. All right, two. Yeah. Jesus. This is hard. This is so hard. No, it gets hard. I know. Like because I, I love Halloween. I, love, I mean Exorcist this is my favorite film of horror of all time. Where no joke. So good. One movie. Which Danny? Oh, uh, now I will go with from dusk till dawn. Yeah, dusk till from dawn. Is dawn yeah, because I always think about uh, if I was in the back, you're their way back, and they were stuck in there. Like me, me and my boys in college, we would always be like, "Would you leave? Would you go out?" And we'd be like, <laughs> and we always be like, "Nah, I'm gonna go fight. Nah, I'm gonna stay right here." So that's yeah. four. Five. The I'm last one. Think of a movie oh. that fr freaked me out. Damn, that's hard. 
Uh, see, this is why we this is why we take days to do our list. We don't do them on the yeah, spot. Yeah, no, right? We don't do them on the spot because I I'm probably missing like twenty. Um, let's go with let's go with Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Oh, the the Ooh. the updated version. Good pull. Good pull. Yes. The, the scene where the 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 dude hits yeah. the, the cop. Back Another slaps face. him with the gun and knocks his teeth out, and yes. then he's scratching. Yep. Yeah, I should so do that, like top five slasher films. Top we film. should. I don't know if we yeah. can do that though. I don't, I don't know, know if Danny can... watches slasher. But yeah, like five. I don't know if Danny watches slasher. Film. I, Jesus. Does he, well, does he watch? Slasher? I don't know. Probably not. Yeah, I'm trying to think I mean, of like I slasher totally films for slasher films. You got to have, like, Scream in there. Scream it actually is watchable as fuck now. The first um, one. Because, yes. Yeah. Because now looking like, this is actually a really good movie. I, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Horror. Yeah. I didn't yeah, yeah, yeah. like it really, but now, like, like, now that I watch it now to them, like, this is damn good cinema, right? No, oh, yeah. I'm trying to think of other slashes. Yeah. I mean, you probably have to throw one of the Jasons in there. I mean, one Jason the for me, like, Jason one is so corny today, but Jason one lives in my heart. Like, um, <laughs> from Nightmare on M Street Two is the gayest horror film of all time. <laughs> what? When you watch it, when you watch Nightmare on M Street One and the second one. I'm like, Jesus Christ, this is so is, gay. Is the Red second Ron one the dream say, child? No, that's the that's the third one, I think. The second is, a lot of people don't talk about Nightmare on M Street too. It, there's no Nancy in it. Um, um it's that's not the one where he took over the body of the boy, is it? I, don't I can't remember it. Why can't I not? I remember Dream Warriors. I remember <laughs> Dream Child. No one but um wow god films i mean halloween i know i've seen it for me always i like the new halloween, halloween. is hey, 28 i like that one um which wait wait not the one that just can't halloween kills not 2018 yeah no it's 2018 the new halloween yeah with jamie lee curtis that's a tight oh film. the one where they trap they trap him in the Thing and, and he mm -hmm. burned the house. Yeah. yeah, the sequel that they put out was just god awful. Trash, trash. I, that's why I, I don't try. I, I really did. Watch the third one because of that. That bullshit. No, I'm not watching the third one. Yeah, I don't think but I'm yeah, we, we definitely got to do that. I mean, yeah. I, like I said, I always appreciate somebody who can actually, who knows what they're talking about with movies. Uh, and and can go, you know, because I can. I'm telling you, I can pull very obscure movies uh, out of my. Uh, there's there's two things right. that I'm very good at remembering: is comic books and movies. Like I'm gonna pass out to Excalibur tonight, 1978, which oh, Morgan nah. doesn't know nah. about. You gotta watch. He the doesn't game. watch old movies. <laughs> you gotta you watch, watch the, the game, game, bro. You gotta watch the. I Michael promise Dutton. you, it is. It, Michael Douglas and uh, Sean Penn. Yeah, that is movie, Michael Douglas. Like, <coughs> he plays a bad guy. No, no. Okay, I'm telling know. you, it's it's worth it. It is. I. It is. It is one of my favorite movies. When I when I watched the. When I watched it and I got to the end of it, once again, my, my mom and I used to watch a lot of movies, which is how I became a big movie buff. Like we would always like we were always at Blockbuster. We would literally go to Blockbuster and just be like, have you seen this before? No. Looks good. All right. Let's get that. We'd get like five movies and we would just watch them all weekend long. Like those are one. Those are some of my favorite movie uh, moments with my mom. Um, and so like. I remember when we got the game and we both watched it and my mom was like, well, you weren't expecting that, huh? Oh, I'm telling you, it's worth it. I know I'm, I know I'm like bigging it up, but it's a, it's a, it's a, it's, it's, a, it's, it's uh, directed by, um, 
I'll doubt in my opinion. I'll doubt. It's that. it's it's uh it's David Fincher. Directed by David Fincher. Oh, this is David Fincher. That fucking shit is gold already. Let me let me make sure. Let me Bro. let me make sure. David Fincher movie. I'm, I'm almost I'm almost gold. positive. Yep, David Fincher, 1997. Oh yeah, it's already gold. It's oh yeah, gold. it's 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 so good. It's so good. Like I'm I'm almost at the point now where I might go watch it myself. Um yeah, I mean, because I'm remembering Fincher, Fincher is one of my favorite directors of all time. Like seven don't is miss. my fucking go to. Like, he don't miss, man. He don't miss. Panic don't Room. Miss Panic Room's amazing. Miss nothing. Nope. <laughs> I, I can't think of a I can't think of a David Fincher film that I've I, I watched. I that like. I, That's the thing. Like I'm, I'm looking at his his he seven the game fight club he, Zodiac Benjamin Button the Social Network Benjamin Gone Girl Button. oh they're Gone all Girl is incredible incredible yeah Gone Girl messed my brain up film. but Gone Girl messed Bro. my brain up so Bro. badly Bro. like Bro. I was like what am I right now I, <laughs> I was just like that's <laughs> good no, no, I'm like. So good. I was like, nah, dude, you you ain't really <laughs> trying to stay. All right. You like gonna kill her in her sleep, right? And I was just like, the yeah. movie ended. I was like, nah, I gotta watch that again. I watch that movie yeah. every time it comes on. It's All so right, good, so dude. we gonna let you go, let you do your homework. Uh anything you want to plug while you can? Uh I got Shadows is coming out for the event. Of Nico and Nokia. If you um, if you backed our campaign in Kickstarter, we are shipping those baby can so they'll be awesome. In. And I am deep in the adventures of Nico and Nokia book three right now. So okay. that's the new coming out. Our, our Kickstarter will probably be dropping this. Year. Um, so I'm really heavy into that right now. Um, I'm working on an art book right now, so I'm really excited about that. But other than that, yeah, yeah. Hey man, you you need to holler at me, man. If you need somebody to write a script for your your Terran book, man, like like I can write quickly. That, I, you. <laughs> that listen, man. It, all you got, look, look, we we gonna make it work, man. We gotta make it work because I can do like I can script quickly. Like I draw very slow, but I can script like like I, I that's easy. Uh, I'll wow. send it to you. All right, let me know, man. But. <laughs> hey, hey, listen, man. Enjoy the game, man. I promise you. I'm going to watch you, it. You, I don't think I've ever seen that David Fincher that, movie. That's a lot of that David movie. Fincher. That movie going to make like, you like all time. Like, mm. he, yeah, yeah. Me too. Me too. I'm looking at his like the crazy part is like I'm looking at his filmography, and it ain't long. No, he, he makes this, movies very like script has to be right for Fincher to make it. Yeah. He's I like, mean, he's, this, he's he, like he, Yeah, he doesn't make a lot of movies. Yeah, he's, he's like, he really don't miss, like I, I'm trying to Yeah. I'm not like, a big I'm not as big a fan of, of him. Dude, I don't yeah. like I only like a couple of Darren Nazi films. Like I like the Is Hugh he the Jackson dude that one. did Requiem Is he the dude that did a uh, Mother? No. Maybe. No, he he did. What did he, he do? Did Black Swan? Dare? Okay, he I did like Requiem, that. Black Swan. I, I, I he, think I saw that, but I don't remember it. With Natalie Portman. Um, he did, did he another do, film. Did he do the thing with Hugh Jackman in the tree? Yeah, yeah, in the tree. Yeah, like the weird fantasy. I, I couldn't like get present with that one. and yeah, but yeah. I was sitting there watching it. Like, what the hell am I watching? Like I felt like, I've never done acid in my yeah, life, but I felt like an acid trip. It's, it's like Dark City. If you ever be with the psychic power oh, thing, I like I love I Dark City. Way before, way before its time, came out like at a later time. Yeah, bro. Yeah. If Dark City came out now, it would be considered one of the it best movies of all time. So my right now, nobody knows about it, but I love that freaking movie. I love and yeah. I, I watch any. That's a movie that if it's on TV, I'm stopping what I'm doing, sit down, and, watch, sit down and watch because yeah. it rarely comes on TV. 
Exactly. It, it never it's, comes on streaming it's services. If you could find it anywhere, it's probably only on physical media now. Like, Dude, I be look, I look on it every now and again. I look on Hulu, Netflix, everything. I'm looking for it, and they're like, nah. And I'm just like, Dude, I just want to watch the movie one time. Like, can I just watch this movie? And I used to watch like, it a you lot. Got creepy, you got like creepy Keith or Southern playing a, a like a weird like shrink doctor thing, and like you got these crazy bro. When they broke the wall like, open, yeah. When they broke the and he's creating the world. Like he controls every. I was like, this shit is wild. Listen, if you've been watching tonight, and I'm pretty sure you know heard some movies, check them out. <laughs> you won't, you know, unless we said the movie's trash, you will yeah. not be. Yeah. Uh, you will yeah. not be uh, uh, disappointed. So yes, everyone, thank you for stopping by once again. Thank you, Ryan, this for stopping by. Hey man, I I enjoyed it, yeah. man. I enjoyed it. We're gonna have to have you and uh uh and uh. Why did I not? Why did I forget her name? Just that quick. <laughs> Mo Moana. Moana, yeah. Moana, yeah. Moana. Yep. You're gonna have you guys on when you do your Kickstarter, man. We absolutely, you know, we'll be here to support. Thank you. Um, but we, I appreciate you stopping by. Uh, next week, everybody. Let me let me check the schedule. Oh man, we got Deidre Sneed on next week. This is gonna be a good. Oh yeah, guy. dude. Yeah, yeah we we got De Dedrin. Is it De is Dedrin Sneed? Dedrin or so Deidre? We, is it Dedrin or Dedrin? I don't know. I've never heard his name said out loud. Might be right. Might be <laughs> if I'm butchering your name, bro, I'm sorry. But you know, this is very entrepreneur, uh, very he's very amazing. successful entrepreneur. Um, yeah, looking amazing. forward to having him on. Yeah, he's a good guy. Um, Help me out in a in a pinch, and I always appreciate that. But let's come back next week, uh, 8 o'clock, as always. And uh, thank you for stopping by uh, for some creative talk with creative people on the Stoke Podcast. Y'all have a great evening and a great weekend.